Okay, this is a vulnerability that was dubbed SMB Ghost, and it affects SMB. And specifically, I want to tell you that it is wormable. Wormable means that it is a vulnerability that can self-propagate. So someone could make a worm where basically the code would exploit another server with SMB capabilities, and that exploited server could exploit another, and that could exploit another. And so the point of a worm is it's self-propagating malware. In this type of vulnerability, in this case, could self-propagate. So it has to do with Microsoft's server message block, SMB protocol, which is a network file sharing protocol. SMB3 supports message compression to reduce network traffic. And the decompression takes place in the SRV2.sys kernel driver in the Windows kernel space. Now, of course, as always, all network packet content should be treated as ACID coming over the network. So we've already seen that this is going to have something to do with decompression, which is one of our words of power, words of destruction. So here is the simple pseudocode for this. We start from this net raw buffer, so the data coming in over the network, which is attacker control. And then just to help out, I indicate that in this SMB compression decompress, the second argument is the input buffer. Sec third argument is the input buffer size. Fourth argument is the output buffer, and fifth argument is the output buffer size. So the gauntlet is thrown. Check the website and find the flaw if you dare.